Are you looking for new ideas to decorate your junk journal? For a new technique to add unique creative elements to your artwork that is easy to learn, doesn't take much time and cost way less than a dollar? Then this video is for you. I will show you how you can make an endless number of different stamps, just using a simple foam sheet and a bit of ink. Okay, so let's jump right in. The technique I show you today is so easy. You can do it with your children and so fast you can do it in your coffee break. You need a little bit of ink, a pencil, maybe a scissor if you would like to cut out your image and of course the most important ingredients is a foam sheet. Here I bought 65 pieces of foam sheet for 18 New Zealand dollars. That makes it 36 cents per sheet. 4 by 6 inch is the size. It's a normal postcard size, different colors. This one comes with an adhesive backside. For this technique, we don't need it. This is not important. If you have an adhesive side, it's just important that the foam side is facing you to get your design down. For today, let's start with something very simple. Let's start with making some circles. Just go round very slowly. You can start with one side and then with the other side, any size you like. And to make sure, try to make sure that the start and the end line is meeting. You can do it in any size, large ones, small ones. And to really use it to have a quiet moment to make a circle here, a circle there. And yeah, there's no right or wrong. There's just one circle after the other. And of course, this is just an example. You could also make triangles or squares, or you could draw a tree or make a heart or whatever you like to do. It's completely up to you. That's the beauty with this technique to make your own stamp. You can decide how your stamp should look like. What I would like to do for now, I would like to take a piece of just normal copy paper, white copy paper, and play a little bit around with the different inks. Again, it's not important what kind of ink you have. In this particular case, I have a permanent archival brown ink here, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you have at hand will work. And then to just press it down onto the paper and make sure that you rub all over the stem, pressing it down on the paper and then having a look. Ta-ta! <laughs> I think it is stunning. It is, and it just, it is five minutes. And then here you go. I think I would like to see how that looks in a different color. I would like to see how it looks in gold because I love when it is sparkly and blinkly and I love adding some gold or silver or some color to my junk journal. And so I would like to play around with it a little bit to see how the different colors look like. And oh, I love the surprise. I love this moment of like, revealing it and it's oh i like that it's way more subtle and i even like that there is still a little bit of the brownish ink from before at coming through at certain points in my junk journal i often use coffee dyed paper so that's way more brownish than the white copy paper and i would like to see how the brown ink looks on the brown paper before I actually start decorating my junk journal with it. I think I would like to give it a test. Ah, yeah, it's nice, but it's, I don't like this sharp, harsh border there. I think with the next one, I try the gold again. I will make sure that I just use like the 
ink pad on, a, on an angle like using the corner just to um, ink the circles and not to press too much on the sides of the foam sheet so that the borders are not that sharp. Yeah, you can see here like it's I'm pressing more in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I think I will, I'm brave enough now to go to my junk journal and to, yeah, like stamp directly onto my page. I have here a brown paper bag and I think I will try what, yeah, I like the gold on the brown. I think I, I will start with that, making sure that the ink is everywhere on my stamp and then just putting a white paper sheet underneath so that if in case my stamp goes over the brown bag that I'm not stamping the pages below. Oh, it's always exciting. It's always exciting how it will look like. Ah, I love it. Could you see how it glitters like when I moved the journal? Oh, I love it. Uh, I would like to have a little bit more of the gold on the bottom of this paper bag um, so that the side is um, balanced, that it's not just in this corner. Yeah, let's see how, how this goes. Yeah, I'm putting the sheet straight into the to the side so to the middle so that it is really covering the entire brown paper bag there ah yeah nice i think it's nice together and i think i also would like to decorate the other side so that it is fitting to the brown paper bag maybe leave me a comment below like when we use junk journal pages like um, from books when we have the writing there, I'm always a little bit like, what do I do with that? Because I can't journal on it and so. And for today, I think I'm using coffee dyed paper and I'm linking on the top a previous video of mine, how to do coffee dyeing with um, normal paper. And then to rip off the sides so that I can see the number of the book pages. Um, I like that. I, I really like that. And then to use the stamp, but in a different color, like I think I take the darker brown. Yeah. Yes. I like I li this. I like this ruckety look. On one hand, it's a little bit more sparkly and this is a little bit more earthy, ruckety. Like I, yep. Yeah, I, I like the combination. Can you remember we had the beginning that we played around with the different papers and we can use this. I played around with different colors here, a little bit of turquoise that is fitting to the other side of the page. It's a paper bag and I will use our samples to make more decoration. I will tear around here around the image carefully using my thumb as a boundary so that I'm not ripping into the image and then just with a little bit of brown oxide ink I'm going around the sides. I always like it because it is highlight or it helps to highlight the edges, which helps the images to stand out a little bit better. And I like the vintage look of it. And what we also can do is we can use other inks like the Distress ink here. Again, I'm using the turquoise one to go around the border here to make it really fitting color wise to other pages so it's you can imagine like you your creativity has like there are no boundaries like it's there so you can do whatever you like these are just 
my playing around fitting to this particular junk journal but of course it's yet yeah, it, the possibilities are really endless and yeah i can put the leftover examples in in this in this bag and here we are oh i love it i hope you love them too and you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up leave me a little comment underneath and if you like what you saw and if you like this kind of creative videos please subscribe press the notification bell and yes with these foam sheets you can make hundreds and hundreds of stamps in no time for little money okay for today we come to an end and bye for now i wish you a wonderful day